Mr. Morgan, you're suing your former fling, Ms. Gentry Lee, to prove that you fathered her one-month-old daughter, Amaya, and say today the DNA test will show you are her baby's dad. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Gentry Lee, you say that it's impossible for Mr. Morgan to be Amaya's biological father and want him to leave you alone when the results prove your case. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Morgan, why do you believe she's denying you're the father? Uh, I simply believe that she's denying this because we're no longer in a relationship and we, we're not going to be. So, you think she's just saying you're not the child's father because she's not with you anymore? Yes, because I moved on. Is that true, Ms. Gentry Lee? No, Your Honor. Explain. <sighs> this is very upsetting to you. Explain to the court. What are you feeling? <sighs> I just feel horrible because... <sighs> for one, she don't deserve <laughs> this. But she do deserve to fig figure out the truth. Is he not her father? She deserved that. <laughs> But she did not deserve what she's going through right now. So, Mr. Morgan, you're convinced you're the father. Yes, Your Honor. So, I explain am. to the court how this relationship started. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I'm in artist management for a living. Um, when the time I mess, met Miss Gentry Lee, she was with an artist that I was um, considering signing. I called to speak with him and to tell him, you know, come over, have a drink, let's sit down, discuss some details, and see what we can do. Well, Ms. Gentry Lee had answered the telephone, and she said at that time that uh, he was no longer with her. Their relationship is over. I stated that I was at home, chilling out. I already prepared for him, you know, to, to be there with me or ready to come over. I was going to have a drink and kick back. No. And she said she come over. One no. thing led to another. We ended up being intimate that night. And so, Ms. Gentry Lee, did you think you were dating someone? Were you at the potential to be in a real relationship with him? At the moment, yes, Your Honor. But what he said is a whole lie. Well, it's completely a lie. Because he asked me to come over and chill with him that night. So he, he said, come over and, and chill. And we led into sex. And then he asked me to stay with him. What do you That's mean? He asked you to move he in? He asked me to move in. Not true. And then he's totally flipped the strip on me. What happened? We got into a big old argument and he, t he was trying to put me out. I got tired of it when he... He was bringing other women in, like my family member. And I caught him with my family member. What? He was sleeping with your family member? He was member? sleeping what? with my family member, Your Honor. So sorry. I completely told him I was done, so he called me back September the 19th, Your Honor. So I stayed with him September the 19th. We did a quickie. Then I left him that day. Quickie and went with another guy, Your Honor, that actually helped me with my baby the whole pregnancy. I was not showing with Mr. Moore, Your Honor. I was not getting sick until I met my, my other. The other person. Yes. Now, listen, so this is why you're convinced that Mr. Morgan is not your child's father. Yes. Because you didn't have any pregnancy symptoms, you didn't have anything yes. until you were with this other guy. Yes. Now, take me to the point where you realized you're pregnant. I realized I was pregnant after I was getting sick with the other. So the other took me to the clinic. Yeah, this, or is, this is this is totally totally inaccurate. Fabricated, wonderful imagination. Mm -hmm. Love it. Not true. What's the other part of this that I'm missing, okay, Mr. This is Morgan? The real story. At that time, where she was at my house, she stayed ended up staying at my house for well over two months when she stayed there. I asked her the second day. When she was there at my house, why haven't you left yet? She that explained, is not true, She explained to me that me when that. I asked her that, that she had he nowhere to go. Me that. that. she had nowhere to go. No. She was staying with a family member of hers, and her family member thought she was a bad influence on the rest of the girls that were there in the house, and she couldn't stay there any longer. So, you end up living together. Yes. You all are having sex. Yes. Unprotected. Yes. Then you find out she's pregnant. Yes. Do you tell Mr. Morgan as soon as you find out, or do you tell no, the other Your guy? Honor, I didn't. I did not tell Mr. Moore I was pregnant. But How did you find out she was pregnant? She was at my house. She needed some hygiene products. I was going shopping for my own things. At that time, I figured she had been there for a month. Like, okay, so when is, when is your period? Basically, when is, are you going to need some pads? She's like, yeah. She put them in my top shelf that's next to my bathroom, and they remained there. They never got open. She never used one. 
And after the time, I'm like, okay, why aren't these open? Why aren't you using them? I haven't had my period. Why haven't you had your period? I don't know. Well, let's check and see if maybe you're pregnant. Because that's usually what happens if you miss a cycle. So I made an appointment. And at that time, she went in for a urinalysis test to take a urine test to see if she was pregnant. Okay? Once she went and took that test, they told her it was inconclusive and they needed to draw blood. She called me and told me that herself. I said, okay, she said, I've been here all day and I'm getting irritated. I do not want to sit here any longer. Well, they did make her wait longer than she should have because it was a whole nother hour before she called me back and said, I'm leaving, I'm on my way back. What happens after that? I didn't really ask her any of that. I'm a very observant person. Me and her. Because we was too busy. Two people that Your Honor, we was too busy house. getting drunk that she, night mm-hmm. because I was so upset that I was not pregnant. You wanted to get pregnant? Yeah. Yes, I did, Your Honor. But I- not by him. <laughs> Thank God that they told me I wasn't pregnant because he... He's no good, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. How old are you, sweetheart? I'm 19. Mr. Morgan, how old are you? 37. (laughs) Mr. Morgan, I can do the math on the baby and see she was of age. But wow. wow. This is a very young girl. And Miss Gentry Lee, at your age, you talking about you were so sad you weren't pregnant, but you having sex with Mr. Morgan and another guy. You can't determine which person is going to be the father if you're having sex with more than one person without oh, using man, protection. That's my point. You know that, right? Right. So why were you sleeping with Mr. Morgan if you really wanted to be with the other guy? <sighs> Your Honor, really? I was just lonely that day. Because I was that heard that the other guy was that. gone. Long I'm just work. saying, a young girl, your age. I mean, when you say I'm, I'm just lonely that day, so I'm just going to decide I'm going to sleep with a man that's almost 20 years older than me because I'm just lonely today. <laughs> that, that's not what 18, 17, 18-year-old girls need to be doing. You know that. Right. <laughs> right. At what point, Mr. Morgan, do you find out she actually is pregnant? Oh, when she sent me the ultrasound picture. If I'm not the daddy, then why am I getting the ultrasound? And why well, are you sending you... the ultrasound picture to my family member also? Did you, you send the ultrasound for those. picture? You asked for those. So what, you just, out of the blue, just decided to tell me that you took an ultrasound? No, because so at why, first... How would I even at first, I wasn't going to tell you nothing. So how would I know that you had taken an ultrasound if you didn't send me a picture or give me an indication that you had? Explain that one to me, because I don't get it. Well, I get it. (laughs) You don't really deserve one. I want to get it. I want somebody to explain it to me. (laughs) If you don't send a man that you do not believe you are pregnant with their child, why would you send me an ultrasound? I don't care if I requested it or not. Well, she probably could have articulated that better if she wasn't 18, 17. (laughs) Okay, and in my defense, as far as... I mean, the th- uh, you know, that's the problem. I want to see that evidence, though. Ron, will you hand me that? Yeah. that? That's the problem here. Now, when you sent this over there, you said it was per his request. Yeah, it was per his request. He knew I was pregnant. I sent it to him. Why did he want to see it? Did you ask him? No, I did not I ask him. that unintelligent. You just did what he asked? Yes. So then why are you convinced he's not the father? I mean, let's... Be honest, whether... Because I'm not going to be with her. You know, even with... I don't want you. I really don't. don't. You don't? Okay. You are giving him what he's asking for in terms of information about the pregnancy, the ultrasound pictures, but you are maintaining that you're not the father. Someone else is. Do you know why you're entertaining this if you really don't believe he's your oh, child's yeah, father? I don't. The only time I'm not the father is when I give an indication that this will not be a relationship. Then it's somebody else's baby, then. No. Miss Jen, I really don't care if you're in a relationship with me. Because you put me through so much hell, I don't know why. So, she's pregnant now. Are you invited to go to any appointments? You get an ultrasound picture. Do you go to appointments? Now, this, You okay. say, the only time it's not my baby is when I let you know I've moved on and there's no chance for a relationship. Is there times when she's indicating you are the father? No. 
Yes. No. All no. the time. No. All the time. Did you go to any of the appointments? No, I didn't go what to What about when the baby was born? No, yeah. he was not there either. She up and left and moved out of town. After she was at my house and came and stayed at my house later for four more days after she was in the hospital with two IVs running in her arm, getting rehydrated, and she was hungry. So my fiancé invited her over to our house to feed her and to make sure she was okay. Well, I would like to hear from your fiancé then. Ma'am, please stand. State your name for the record, ma'am. Sharika Strawn. Miss Strawn, your fiance, Mr. Morgan, just indicated that Miss Gentry Lee was invited over to your house by you. Yes. Please explain this story to me. Um, she texts all the time, and she was texting him and saying how she was hungry and stuff, and he was like, I'm tired of dealing with her. You know, I'm tired of the running around. One day it's my baby, one day it's not. I'm like, no, you can't do that. She's gonna come over here, she's gonna get her something to eat, she's gonna get her some rest, because I'm a, I'm a mother myself, you know? Your so, Honor, that's a lie, because so she actually... You stayed in my house for like four days. You, Ashley. And I don't like it, but I deal with you, over. and I... She did and not I, I, I invited him because... He just told me. I went over request. his cousin's house. Per her request. I went over his cousin's house. You came to my house because I wanted to, to be there. We live yeah. together. Anyway, I've bought stuff for the baby. I've... Well, you know, if she bought her. stuff, where is the stuff? At my house. I sure told is. you over and over to come get it, come look at it. Miss Strong, let me ask you, because I can't really get an answer from Ms. Gentry Lee. Why do you think she's saying that Mr. Morgan, your fiance, is not her child's father? Because she wants to still be with him. Ms. Gentry Lee, it's okay to admit if you want to be with him. Your Honor, I don't. Ms. Gentry Lee, <laughs> at the end of the day... At the end of the day, I'm gonna love my child. She don't course, need... Of course, of course She you does are. need her, da <laughs> her daddy. She needs a daddy. Everybody does. Hmm. It's very hard to understand what your position is and why it is. I mean, you spent significant time with this man. Now, even though you said, you know, you were with your, your other guy and you like him more, you love him, you're glad you're with him, it doesn't negate what happened with Mr. Morgan. Is he really not a possibility? Yes, Yaron, I got proof of when I left him September the 19th and was with... Actually, the dude that been around my... You have proof of the timeline. Yeah, you're saying the timeline time. doesn't match yes. up. Can I see that, Ron? Yes, ma'am. You're, you're saying the reason why you don't believe he's your child's father is because when you do the math as to when Amaya was born, conceived, and when yes, you were with him, it doesn't match up. Yes. So, you were intimate with... With the Mr. Other... Morgan, yes. where it's in red. Yes. In the morning. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon. Is blue. Is blue. With the other. So you slept with both men on the Damn. same day on September 19th. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Then on the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, you slept only with the other guy. Yes, Your Honor. If these facts are true, mm. whatever window of conception the doctor may have given you, you've slept with two different men within a week. And so that means both are possible fathers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it just is what it is. I was about to say it's in black and white, but it's really in red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only way to really get down to the bottom of this and what the truth is is to get the results. I'm ready yes. for the envelope, Ron. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Morgan versus Gentry Lee, when it comes to one-month-old Amaya, it has been determined by this court you are the father. I don't get her. 
We've been through hell and bad. Born. I never got to hold her. I never got to. She moved away when she was eight months pregnant I on us. I you to stay at my house. You could have stayed. You With me. With me. You said I don't like you so much, but I was there for you. I bought your baby clothes. I fed you. <laughs> Like but so whatever this like agreement you. we have with us, Tyrus, I don't think she'll be around you. Oh, I'm sorry. A, I'm letting the judge be requested. And I will be filing for joint custody. Mm. Please believe Goodness. that. Goodness. This little oh, baby. Yeah. Baby. This That's innocent baby. little baby. Really? Your reaction right now is very immature, but you are. And that's why you really don't have any business standing here because you can't even process this. You so young. You can't. I want to be mad at you, but I can't. You could be my daughter. Ms. Hanger, you claim the defendant has already been placed on child support for your daughter, Chloe, and therefore there is no reason to administer a paternity test. Yes, Your Honor. You've dragged him to court to order he pay the support he has been neglecting. Mr. Babbitt, you've petitioned the court to order a DNA test because you are 100% certain that you are not her child's father and claim to have proof to support your case. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. The court must decide if there is enough evidence to administer a paternity test. But first, Ms. Hanger, what has Mr. Babbitt done for your child? He's done absolutely nothing for her. He's a spoiled, rotten, arrogant brat. Point blank. He won't even admit that she even looks like him when she's identical to him. Ooh, just because you frame her up there and put her next to my family, that's not actually a DNA test. You know what I mean? That's not actually... Okay, you'll, get, you'll get it. Don't and worry so, about it. Right. Mr. Babbitt, you say you're certain you're not. In all actuality, I mean, like, no, I don't believe it. I'm you're trying. blind, dude. You're blind. That's point blank. You're blind. A medical a professional at all giving me the opinion that you were pregnant would have been good, too. But, I mean, like... And so, well, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just l let me understand this situation. I don't yeah, know yes, how you nothing. two even ever had sex. The way you two are acting. I mean, goodness, how did you end up on child support? Oh, I defaulted, I suppose, as they say, because um, I didn't get served. They dropped papers off on my porch, on my grandmother's porch, and... No, I showed the paper, seen the paperwork from them. It's a Jane Doe signed it, but that legally states that you've received this paperwork. It, it says that Jane Doe has. But they said as long okay. as somebody signed for it and saying that you were going to get it, you were automatically But they involved. said that? Or did you say that dropping the paperwork off not talking anymore? No, they showed me the paperwork of somebody signing it. Okay, so there was no coincidence that after you they showed up said, on my I porch... I asked them. And then when I go get so something to So did you get the paperwork, later, Mr. Bass? I got paperwork on my porch. Did I get paperwork from any person? All right, no. so you got paperwork on your porch that said what? That there is a paternity thing for a DNA test for whatever Chloe, Chloe, yeah, for Chris. Did you show up for the DNA test? No, I didn't think it was happening. I couldn't find it anywhere else, or and I couldn't get any. Information I had wrote him previously and told him, "Hey, it's coming up. You, you need to show up there because it was a court ordered one." So the bottom line is there there was an attempt to notify you, and you did get the paperwork that said show up for a DNA test as it relates to baby I've Chloe. I've also seen paperwork saying I want a free iPod. That doesn't mean it's true. I mean... All right, <gasps> you can be a smart mouth if you want, but you the one on child support. Yes, ma'am, what do you have I have here? the proof showing the paperwork stating that he is on child support. Let me see that, Jerome. So this is paperwork that shows that you are supposed to pay $272.50 per month in child support. I actually never got the paper. Here's the paperwork that I got. It was to my restaurant, and it was stated, it says you're supposed to be paying child support for Chloe Hanger. Didn't give a middle name, didn't give a social security number. On the birthday panel... They're not going to give you her social security Why, number. Why, if I'm the father? Miss Hanger, I want to understand what he's saying, because I want to understand how a grown man gets paperwork from a court that he doesn't honor. You felt like you were... It was like... A, something fraudulent? Well, it, well, yeah, if I would've got a letter that had it, like, postmarking on it, you know, that went through the mail, that would've made me feel a whole lot better about it. But I didn't. It's because so, they personally served you. They weren't gonna put it through the mail to say, oh, I lost it or never well, received it. Right, well, because the mail would just, you know, register it and actually be proof of going and have a tracking number and all that. But that's beside the point. Um, so, you got the paperwork. Did it identify Ms. Hanger as the mother? Yes. And you did sleep with her, right, at some point? That is true. And so... If it had her as the mother and you had slept with her at some point, you didn't say to yourself, well, just in case, 
this is real, I should call about this, this could be serious, I could maybe have a child. Just in case it was real, I figured it'd be filled out, so. So the bottom line is you just decided to disregard and wait the paperwork, for the actual something like this to happen. name the father by default, and now you are responsible for child support. They if told it's my me father, because or, son or daughter. I'm sorry. If it's my child, I will be. You're correct. Well, no, you're responsible for it now because you were named the. They the, gave him 30 days after he did not show up for this DNA test. They gave him 30 days to appeal it, and he never did. I can still appeal it. No, you can't. Not after that. Your name's on her birth certificate now. I didn't sign it. Mr. Babbitt, this has nothing to even do with the birth certificate. This has to do with the fact. Your failure to appear caused you to be named the father by default. Did I look confused about that? No, you look confused, period. And you look like you got a smart mouth. And you think you know too much, but what you should have known was to bring your butt to court. Then you wouldn't be here. Thank you. Now, you can get smart with me if you want to. Let me tell you something, Mr. Babbitt. Let me tell you something, Mr. Babbitt. (laughs) You can get smart with me if you want to. You're gonna lose every day of this week. I'll give you a minute to get yourself together because you're not going to clown. Because it's a baby here whose father's in question and we're going to get down to the bottom of it. I'm doing you a favor of trying to understand your position. But every time I ask you a question, you have something smart to say. We're not getting... Now, hold on. Do not question what I think you look like. I'm here to ask questions. You're here to answer them. I'm here to give you the answers to the questions you have as it relates to paternity. Now, whether you have animosity towards Ms. Hanger or you feel like someone tried to railroad you, that's your personal feelings, but what you're not gonna do is take them out on me. I'm sorry, I was just trying to tell the truth. Oh, no, yes, you are sorry. How did this relationship begin? Was it committed? Were you also sleeping with other people? I met him through my roommate. He'd hung out a couple of times, Played video guns, listened to music, all that stuff. And then everything went on from there. So the bottom line is you two were intimate. Yes. At some point. Yes. Did you use protection? No, never. All right, Mr. Babbitt, do you think at the time she was sleeping with you that she was also sleeping with someone else? Yeah, the other roommate. Yeah, because he was super jealous when I first showed up there. I was going to tell me about this. What made you believe he was sleeping with her? He made a comment about how when she gets mad, walked around looking like a bulldog. And then the other state, well, wow. We said it, you know what I mean? And then the other thing was talking about the size of her female anatomy. And it, 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 it lined up, and he did. I this mean, is new to me. I've never heard this. I don't know how exactly right you, you can is- even. Uh, let's see how we can say this. There was an identifiable piece of her anatomy, and it was described. And then when you had a sexual relationship with her, that description was confirmed. The- and so you felt to yourself, they probably have been Right, possible. probably, yes. Okay. When you found out you were pregnant, you told Mr. Babbitt because that was the only person you were sleeping with? Yes, I had not slept slept with anybody else prior to him for a year with my ex-boyfriend. So you had never slept with anybody else but Mr. Babbitt during that window of time? Well, you were sneaking out in the middle of the night doing something. I was not sneaking out anywhere. The only time I'd get out of bed is to go to the bathroom. Yes, and you wouldn't come back for an hour. So you would be asleep? and then she would climb out of the bed and not come back for an hour? Yeah, I mean, sometimes 30 or 40 minutes, but it's a long... No. And that's when you thought she was also she was, with the roommate. That's, and that's yeah, because I start piecing together, I'm like, well, he said no. this, but that could have been a past relationship thing. Maybe he's just being jealous, but then her sneaking out. No. And it wasn't exactly sneaking out, but not coming back. It just kind of starts building some questionable situations The only time here. I would leave my bed when he was asleep is to go to the bathroom and come back. Okay, so the court has ordered a lie detector test yes. to determine if, in fact, Ms. Hanger was sleeping with the roommate, um, and we will have those results shortly. Moving on. During the pregnancy, did you immediately say, that's not my child, or did you participate? I was wanting to get evidence of it, like a, a pregnancy test. Now, she did take a little, I guess she took one. I never saw her take one. She presented me with a pregnancy test that was positive. But I was like, well, you know, for a dollar, how about you just go get another one? That way I don't think some ghetto hood rat stuff's going on and we can, you know, get this worked <laughs> out. And she objected to that. We went down to- I did not object. I said we didn't have the money to go get When I told I, him to go and get it. was a dollar. The dollar was right I there. I told him to go and get it. And he didn't have any money. I didn't have any money. We mm-hmm. were together for three and a half months in the house. 
So at this point, you're not believing, Mr. Right, Babbitt, that, that be, she's that really even pregnant, or you're not believing that the baby is yours? Uh, I didn't even believe, you didn't she believe was I was pregnant. pregnant. All right. I went to the doctor's appointment with her to get the ultrasound done. We're sitting there, they're doing this ultrasound, and the nurse is sitting there, okay, we're gonna find that heartbeat. And then the nurse is kind of going over her stomach. It and... wasn't an ultrasound, it was a fetal Doppler. Two different things. Well, anyway, it's supposed to detect at six weeks and you're seven and a half, and the nurse told me no, so that was my medical She advice. said it was too early to probably tell no, you. No, she did not. You were supposed to go to the next appointment and you took off to Florida. Wait, let me get this. So when you were at that appointment, Mr. Babbitt, and it was hard for her to detect a heartbeat... At all. You said, okay, she's not pregnant. Yes. And then that's why you went on ahead and went out of town, because in your mind, you I thought... I it, yeah. There was no pregnancy. Well, but... for one, I am a bigger... I'm a, I'm a bigger lady. It does take a little bit harder to detect things when you're a certain amount of weeks pregnant. So you were instructed two weeks later, yes. come back. Yes, and he left two days before that next appointment. She wasn't instructed on anything while I was there. She may have been instructed, but that evidence was withheld from me, too. Ms. Hanger, when you had the baby, you, you were there by yourself. Mr. Babbitt was not there? No. All right. This is the Did girl you let like, him know? Did yeah, you... I let him know. I had to go get induced. Yeah, you're um, like, I'm having and then a baby I got tonight. Had, Wait, no, I'm not. No, tonight for real is the night. No, no it's I not. got induced. And then after a week of that... I got induced... Did you? ...a week before my due date. I was there for 12 and a half hours. They couldn't get my water to break, so they sent me home. But I wrote him that first inducement telling him I'm in the hospital, and this is what he proceeds to tell me. I have evidence of the, the letter right here. Let me see that, Jerome. So you tell him, I, I'm in the hospital and it's really gonna happen this yes. time. And you write, I'm in the hospital, and Royce Babbitt, the defendant, he writes back, that's great. Maybe they have you committed because you have to be crazy if you think I'm coming up there for a baby I don't believe is mine. And he also tried <laughs> to tell me that I stole a baby because I never proved to him that I was pregnant. No, what I thought could have happened is as crazy as you are, you might have been up there doing something in the hospital, not pregnancy related, and then saw a new, See? like, here, I'll give you 10 bucks, let me take a picture with the kid, or your kid, this way I can Facebook it. I am in a hospital bed. I had a cesarean. I had an emergency C-section the second time I got induced. Up until this point, from the time you went to Florida until the time you had this baby, you all weren't speaking, he wasn't involved? No, we started semi-talking on Facebook only. Yeah. And he had me come pick him up in December, I'm 32 weeks pregnant, to come over to my house to talk in person. It's the first time I had seen him since he took off. Thought you were he a liar. laid his head on my stomach. He asked me what I was naming her and stood in the middle of her nursery. Yeah, I walked in and there and I was like, you I still don't hear why, a heartbeat. Why, why, why are did. you feeling emotional, Miss Hanger? What are you feeling? <laughs> that my daughter has to go without her father because I went through that. <laughs> you brought a witness today give you a moment to compose yourself. I'd like to hear from your witness. Sir, please stand. State your name, sir. Roy Babbitt. Mr. Babbitt. Sorry. You are... Oh. Royce's uh, father. You're Mr. Babbitt, Royce's father. Correct. And you're standing with the plaintiff. Because Chloe is our granddaughter. Taking and anybody's I, and, and You, you do here. believe that? That's evidence. Yes, I truly believe that. And you brought evidence. Yes, I'd like to see that, sir. What is it? It's a picture of uh, my baby picture with Chloe. This is a picture of of my baby picture. Of your baby picture Correct. on the left, and, and Chloe. Chloe's baby picture on right. the right. Plus, <laughs> plus, Chloe has so many tendencies, looks, and mannerisms as, as Royce does, that uh, you know it, it's. It's really hard to deny. We've, we've gone through this with the first shot, and, uh, you know, it's just, he needs to step up to the plate. You know, he's got an older boy, and, and we've gone down this road before, and, and you know, he needs to... The first and, thing, and, step and, up? And I moved one, my wife in. The second one here we are with Chloe. We're in, and, my son. And, uh, you know, he just needs to, he needs to step up to the plate and take care of his children. All right. Well, the court issued lie detector test. Mr. Babbitt requested it, and we did so, and we have those results. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? This lie detector test was issued in order to see if, in fact, there is enough evidence to warrant this court ordering a DNA test. Ms. Hanger, you met with a licensed polygraph expert with 20 years of federal law enforcement experience. You were asked, did you have sexual intercourse with your roommate after March 2013? You said no. The lie detector indicated deception. That can't be, no, something's not right with this. I swear on everything. 
I did not touch my roommate. That is on my daughter. That is on my family. There are notes in the court papers, I remember reading them, that refer to a one-night stand. Do you remember this one-night stand? Yeah, it was back in August. It was, I, did I carry my daughter for 18 months pregnant? No, so I did not. It was in August, and he was drunk, and we didn't even finish. All right, the court has determined that there is sufficient evidence to warrant uh, a DNA test. I am going to order both of you to submit to that testing, return to this courtroom, and we will have the results. Are we clear? Yes, we are. The court is adjourned. We're back in session in the case of Hanger v. Babbitt. Uh, you all have gone and submitted to the DNA testing, and we have those results for you. Jerome, the envelope. Here you go. Thank you. Before I read these results, if either of you have any words you'd like to say, truth you'd like to tell. A drum roll. <laughs> no? All right. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hanger versus Babbitt, when it comes to 17-month-old Chloe Hanger, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Royce Babbitt, you are her father. Oop, I guess. All I want is an apology, Royce. Huh? All I want is an apology for her. I don't owe you any apology. Definitely you owe me an apology daughter, for denying Royce. her. Come on, dude. It's, I've it's told you child. from day one. Yeah, it's my child now, but it wasn't then. I mean, I can't it it child then. since conception. All right, let's not go into this nonsense because it just doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't. That was the past. Let's just be honest. This is a lesson to women and men alike. When you engage in activity that produces children without using protection, you can end up with a child by a man that has this response. Ms. Valentine, you are here to prove your three and a half month old son, Michael Jordan, is the defendant's biological child. You claim Mr. Jordan did not deny your son until you moved on and began dating other men. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jordan, you claim you have always known you are not Michael's biological father after discovering a text message Ms. Valentine sent to another man. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So, Ms. Valentine, tell the court, why did you open today's case? Um, because I know 100% sure that Michael is the father of my baby, Michael. So, Mr. Jordan, you don't believe you are little Michael's biological father? No, not at all. That's not my kid. That's a lie. You know, cause this whole pregnancy and after birth, you begged me to name him after you. And you've been there through my pregnancy and you've been there after he was born. I mean, you cut his cord. So, if you want to keep lying in front of this judge, it's gonna cause problems for you outside this courtroom. So I, I suggest that you tell the truth. Yes. I yes. suggest I was, that you tell the there. truth because I was it's gonna cause a lot of pregnancy. problems. I was there during the pregnancy, but that was because if it was my kid and I wasn't there, then I would feel bad. But if it is my kid, I'd rather be there throughout everything. But I wanted to turn the test from, from the beginning. And I begged you several times to get it. Right, right when I had him, swab his mouth, send it off. You didn't do you it. You moved to Chicago. You didn't. No. Okay, that's wait, lie. wait, wait. How did you all even meet? How okay. did you get together? So I'm went on a dating app. Okay, I did. I went on a dating app because I was looking for a one night stand because that's all it was supposed to be. So, you know, I was on the dating app and I saw Michael and I swiped right on him and apparently he had swiped right on me as well. <laughs> so, you know, I like my man. I like him with a dash of ugly and stuff. And it's like, he fit the description. Cause he had a beautiful, he had a beautiful smile, but he had a little dash of ugly. Wait, that I like. wait, wait. I think that's a first. I've never heard that. You say you like your men with a dash of ugly? Yes. <laughs> ugly. It's only a dash. He's still a very handsome man. And he has a very beautiful smile, but he still has a dash of ugly. Dash. Like, just a dash. He's not ugly. He has a dash of ugly. Okay. He's very handsome, but you know, you know how Is the are? ugly outside or inside? A little bit of both. A little oh. bit of both. Ah. Uh, you got it all around, though. In my day, we used to say, we don't like them too pretty. Exactly. You all, it's a dash of ugly now. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I get it, 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 I get it. So how soon after you swipe 
Did you meet him? The the next the no, same no, night. It was same the same night. night. Yeah. It was the same night. Like we I paid for his cab. I sure yep. I sure did. I paid for his cab to come yeah, over my sure house did. because it was gonna go on my terms. Like I paid for it so he can come, and it was the very same night. Like I said, it was only supposed to be a one night stand. If she gonna do it for me? But wait, for... now Miss Valentine, you wasn't paying for no taxi for no man you saw on a dating website to it come like to I your said, house. But we had protective sex, Your Honor. You, you have protected. We did, we have protected no, sex. I'm talking more about you didn't know who he was coming to your new house. Yeah. But I had just wanted a one night stand. I wasn't really thinking Her about all that. So, all right. So wait, okay, let me don't understand bring him this. Up in this Listen, that ain't got nothing to do with Hold this. on, hold on. When he gets there, you say that night you have the one night stand, but you use protect. We did use protection, Your Honor. We did. Then what happened? Um, we had sex a lot more. We started hanging out some. He came over one night. And he was eating my. <gasps> that we did have unprotected sex that same Man, night. You gonna... All right, she lying. She lying for a fact. That is not true, Your I'm Honor. Done. You really gonna lie like uh, that? Oh, you wanna say that you I'm really lying? You really gonna lie like that? You wanna say that ne I'm lying? Never had that ever happen. Just let it go. Just let it go. That never ever happened in your life. You wish it did. That's what happened. You wish you did. It happened on several occasions. It happened on several occasions. No, never happened. Never happened. Oh my lord. Never in my life. It happened on several occasions. Order in the court. What Let's get mean? some order in the court. It still happens. Okay, so... <laughs> just admit. Just admit. I appreciate you being detail-oriented. <laughs> Miss Valentine. So we know you were having sexual relationship. At what point did this turn into a sexual relationship which was unprotected? Because it, a, it a, led to the... A, a few weeks later. All right. And then, Mr. Jordan... How did you find out Miss Valentine was pregnant? I came home one night and she had somebody living with her. I ain't never met oh, man you're one lying. Night in my life. No, you're lying. Wait, you're you lying. said you, you didn't came come home, home. Yes, I because came you never home lived one with night. me. She didn't even know I was coming. I just not. You're a lie. Because every time not, you came over, I you called my hey, phone. Hey, no. Let me talk. You're I'll, here let, lying. I'll let you talk. Let me talk. Okay, so you came to her house yes, right, one day house. unannounced. Yes, Your Honor. And what happened? Well, I'm knocking on the door. Nobody coming. The lights off upstairs. Next night, I see a light come on. So I'm like, "Who is this?" Some somebody with hair like mine. He came downstairs, and she followed behind with a broom. I'm like, "Oh, okay. I I, I see what's been going." On. He opened the door. The first thing I asked, "Who is he?" She's like, "No, he just here for the kids. He babysitting the kids. He was cleaning up my house. This is this and that." So I'm like, "All right. I I didn't think too much of it. I start walking upstairs. Tell me why ESPN was playing in her room with messed up sheets, Your Honor." She don't know, she don't know, she don't watch basketball. She, she never watched basketball. Can you even name an NBA player? Besides LeBron James. Michael, uh, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan. Yes. Yeah. She can. Okay. Well, well, well anyway, a after that happened, we had unprotected sex that same night, and I, I did not talk to her no more for two weeks because of that. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. You got into the sheets, you thought, Another man oh, no, that just no. got out of? It was on the counter. It was on the counter, y'all. Why did I ask? It, it was on the counter. Why did I it, ask? It was. It was on the counter. Actual cases. Her car had come through and slammed me up against the toolbox. There was a torpedo coming at my face. Personal injury court. Cases everyone's going to be talking about. After that, I would not talk to her. Then she came to me with a paper, and she said, come here, I got to show you something. She showed me pregnancy tests. She showed me a couple of them. How, first thing I how did, long after the unprotected sex night did she give it was me the paper? Weeks. I wouldn't talk to her because I saw That's a man a over the house. And she kicked the man out just to get me to come back up because you know I had a job. A lie. She, she know I keep money around. Michael, you you you, you have no income. An hour. You what have no income. Have? I make money off features. You have no income what whatsoever. Have? What money do you 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 have? I pay her bill, money. electric bill, you gas money bill, from me. water bill. I paid it all. Okay, all right. I pay. I brought her. I brought her kids food. Okay. You ain't never bought my kids a damn thing. Oh, so all the restaurants we went to? But I anyway, took her and her kids back to out. What he was okay, thinking. one at a time. Back I'm going to give Miss Valentine a chance to respond to your testimony. Back to what Mr. he was Jordan. saying. Okay. So while I was living back in Chicago, yes, I had somebody that I was involved with previously. We were no longer involved for months at a time. Months. So, yes, he came down because that's the only other man besides my kid's father who had ever been around my kids. No other man. He's the, the third man who's only ever been around my kids. So, yes, he came to my house and he 
my friend was there. I had a three bedroom townhouse at the time. So I had only one TV. So if him and my son wanted to watch TV, they were gonna have to watch my TV because there was no other one. My witness told me and this, this he's seen multiple men This multiple, out hold on. Him. Hold on, this select witness that he bring with him today, I didn't meet till I was already pregnant. You brought this witness and I want to hear from him. Please stand, sir. State your name for the court. Step over to the podium. Elijah Krebs. Okay, Mr. Krebs. Yeah. What do you know about this situation? Well, I actually got an exhibit I'd like to show you. Oh, you brought an exhibit? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please step Ooh, over to your exhibit. exhibit. Let's see this exhibit. So let me see what Mr. The... Krebs has to offer right. okay. uh, so on I'll this So I go to exhibit. my friend's house. He lived in the same apartment complex she did. He lived right over here. She lived right over here. And in order for me to get to and from his house, I would have to go this way to go to the bus stop. And when you would walk past, what is your testimony? I see men coming in and out of her house. <gasps> multiple occasions. Your Honor. On multiple occasions, Your Honor. Did you, during that time, have different men coming in and no. out? No. Who is he Peter was... King? Exactly. The and I didn't talk to him for, except for the beginning, before I met you, before no, we even no, started really I, talking I like him. that. I, I and why are you bringing his social media up? Because that's his social media. You don't even that know his name. Social... You that's don't the even... name you gave him. What do you mean? That, that was not social wasn't... media? That wasn't even text no, messages. No, that was not. That wasn't that was not even text messages. Okay, I have a question. I didn't even have his number. Hold on. You had his number and his message. You ne no, oh, it was a number. Hold on. Who is Pizza King? I don't know. <laughs> never. I never found out Pizza King. I don't King, even bro. know. I never met she him like, in person. She like, at the restaurant texting me. I never met him in person. I seen the messages. No, they ain't texting you. Yeah, no restaurant Talking about, text. can I come over tonight? You talking about a restaurant. You're talking about his social media. I never had his number. But who is Pizza King? Some, some boy I ignore. Because he blows my phone up. She tried to cover up. Absolutely. What yes, did you see her I texting never to Pizza King? They was talking about linking up, meeting up at the house. That she supposedly don't bring men over. So what so did you read? You were the only what man did, that was what there. What did you read? It was like baby, like just emojis and you, stuff like oh, that. Oh, like, you are such a over. liar. You are why such lie a liar. This? You've been lying this whole time we've been here, so why not, the baby keep lying? Pizza King. why not keep lying? Why not keep lying? You've been lying every, every word that has came out your mouth has been a lie since we've been here. No, that and was you're you. gonna keep lying. No, that was you. you have to remember this you. is gonna really affect you in it's real life. It's gonna affect you. People so gonna know playing. what type of person you so are. Okay, hold on. The same day I met you, I slide in. Listen, listen. Is that how it works now? Hey, hey. I stand You have multiple men over there. Let's get some order. I'm sorry, y'all. First, I'd like to say this is real life, because y'all really getting on my nerves in real <laughs> life. Y'all wear me out. I want to understand, but that screaming and hollering at the top of your lungs, y'all could have done that before you came. You got a little baby here named Michael Jordan, named after you. Well, and you sitting up acting, they saying, now it's Pizza King's baby. And all of this, this is a living, breathing person. This is real life right here a beautiful little boy, and you saying you're not his father, and yet he has your name, you were at the hospital, you said he cut the umbilical cord. And he signed a birth certificate. What are you feeling, Miss Valentine? What, because he's lying, and he's doing this to hurt me. He's doing it to hurt me. He's been in love with my son since he was born. And he has pictures of him everywhere, all over his social media. And he asks me for pictures of him all the time. So why do you think he's denying him? <laughs> because his friends. Because of his friends. He... Have nothing to do with oh, you think people are getting in his ear and giving him reason to doubt the baby? You feel like if it was just him having to make his own decision... He has reasonable doubt. We talked does. about it. He does have okay. reasonable doubt. Because my friend was over there. He was. And I, I if I'm going to admit to it, why am I going to lie about something else? I've been honest with everything I said. He was there, and he did live with me. So is this a friend you've, you've, you've been intimate with at some point? A long time ago, yes. And I admitted to that. We did have a sexual relationship months, months before. Sorry. Months before he came down. He never told me that, Your Honor. Yes, I did. He never told me. She denied it. She said he just a baby. She said she used him. She and that's him to clean up the house, and he cooked Because for that's all he used to do. He used to cook for my kids, and he used to clean my house. You said yourself, like I said, he, has he does to have a reason to doubt, but you're yes. saying that that is not what you were doing. That is not what I was doing, Now, yes. okay, I get it. Mr. Jordan, your doubt is fueled by that occurrence you witnessed. Yes. And also yes. by your friends saying men are coming in and out, and also the text messages 
you got with what text Pizza messages? King. He yeah. says he saw the text. You don't have text messages. You should have screenshot it and sent it to your phone like you did everything else. I keep everything. She told everything. another man. That Come on now, she there's text pregnant. messages. That there's text pregnant. messages of this where. Be, this before I even knew I, 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 that she was pregnant. But she told another man that she was pregnant after he took her key and went back to Chicago with the what? key. First of all, that didn't even happen did uh, happen. when that I did met happen. you. you know that happened in December when he brings no, me down on this Valentine. You're lying. Mr. Jordan, you're lying. Valentine, stop. You all are proving why I always say that sex is not an after-school activity. It's not an extracurricular activity. It's not soccer. It's not baseball. It's not bowling. <laughs> it's serious. You don't just get on the computer and decide, oh, I'm gonna have sex today because it turns into this. And now we've got a little person. Look at this beautiful baby. I don't want him to grow up in this level of negativity and drama. <laughs> Mr. Jordan, what are your intentions? If this baby is yours, do you plan to be a dad or do you plan to just do this? Yes, I will be there. And she know that for a fact, because I've been there through every single doctor appointment. I've been there at the pregnancy. Okay, lie again. And I, Cause you weren't I there for all my doctor's appointments. Jerome, let's get the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Valentine versus Jordan. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to three-month-old Michael Jordan, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jordan, you are the father. Oh. That's your beautiful little boy. He's just precious. Yes, he is. And he doesn't deserve this. Y'all gotta get this together. This is messy. This is, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm taking it all the way to ignorant. This is ignorant. <laughs> Because you all now just yelling to hear yourselves talk. And this little be look at this beautiful baby. <laughs> and that's one thing you need to understand. Whatever you do to each other, you do to him. <laughs> Once you bring life into this world, y'all swiping right, swiping right, now you gotta live right. <laughs> now you gotta parent right. He's here now. And I'm looking at his little face. Look at that joy. You all gonna yell and scream the joy out of the child. Cause you sure enough did it to me today. So we gonna stop. <laughs>